Well, something really crazy happened over the weekend, uh, dare I say monumental even, and I didn't get a chance to talk about this on the main channel, but I want to talk about it now because things like this don't happen very often. Um, ben Shapiro was in a rap song and rap music video. Yes, that Ben Shapiro. And I can't play it for you because of copyright, but I mean, it sounds exactly as you would expect it to sound, uh, but somehow worse. And it almost, it's one of those rare instances where I really felt cringe. Now, I know that we overuse cringe all the time, um, but I mean, this is really a moment where I felt secondhand embarrassment because this is a 40-year-old man doing something that an 18-year-old would probably have self-awareness to not do. Um, not like being in a rap music video is fine and rapping is fine, but you have to have talent. That's the key. And Ben Shapiro does not have talent, although he is comparable to Twista. And I've made this, uh, this comment before, and it's because he talks really fast. He spits fast, but he has no substance whatsoever. But I, I want to look at the actual verse here because it's just wild to me that he's like, yeah, let's do it. I, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to shoot the music video. We're going to record this. It's so bad. The first part, like you can actually tell that he's trying to rap, even though it sounds terrible because his, he has Ben Shapiro's voice, but like, it's really bad. Let me just, let me just fucking read it to you. Goddamn. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts wrong. Actually, you're, you're wrong about everything, but my money, like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. I haven't heard that since like 2011. Don't be a wop. So he's epic. Don't be a wet ass pussy. He still won't say it, even though he's now a rap star. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Okay, that's the only line where it's like, okay, that's clever. And you're also using slang. That's like, it emerged or really, I think got popular within the last couple of years. So kudos for that one. But then he continues, look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. Who are you talking to? You're going to prison. I'm on television. Dogs, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section, all woke Karens. Okay, but like the Karens are conservatives. We know this, right? Like, I guess technically like anyone can be, a, you know, a Karen. But when we think of Karens, we traditionally think of that entitled, uh, white person who's usually being racist or demanding something of a minimum wage worker. So I just, I don't, I don't think it really fits for you to say that Karens are in your, uh, are in your comment section. The light just turned off on my selfie stick. There we go. Um, it just doesn't fit to me. Okay. What else does he say? Okay. And I make racks off compound interest. I'm sure that's true, but you also have right wing sugar daddies. Uh, Y'all live with your parents. Nikki takes some notes. I just did this for fun. And this is where it just, he slows down. And this is where the cringe gets so bad that it makes my, my skin crawl. Um, because I just, I'm shocked that this happens still. But he says, Nikki takes some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. I mean, we're getting close to the territory of like Republican campaign ad raps. District 12, listen up right here. There's a new name on the ballot for the Senate this year. My name is Linda Paulson, Republican and awesome. Love God and family and the Constitution. To be clear, full disclosure, I do hate Ben Shapiro, but like if you, if you took somebody I like and they said the same exact lyrics, you know, substitute Ben Shapiro with Sam Cedar, I would think, oh, Sam, no, Sam, please don't do this. Why would you, why would you agree to this? And look, that's not to say that like, you can't have fun. You can't be silly sometimes and do stupid things. I think that's fine. But this is beyond that, right? Because, you know, within this whole song, there's this weird verse that's out of place from Ben Shapiro. He doesn't like, I feel like he doesn't really have an ear for music. And then it goes back to somebody, Tom McDonald, who's trying to be like a real rapper and all of his music is just, like, about anti-SJWs. Like, I don't know if he has, like, an LP out, but I would imagine all the songs are like, okay, 
snowflakes triggered uh you're offended it's like oh, holy shit you're a one trick pony you have to come up with something else like it has to be exhausting to talk about the same thing like he's doing a form of political commentary right so as a political commentator myself it gets boring just talking about the same shit over and over again but now tom mcdonald for as long as i i've known him maybe he did like non anti sjw songs before like he's been doing this for like five years now and it's just so shocking to me that he's not bored but i mean it's like it's like the rap equivalent and i say rap really charitably here it's the rap equivalent of anti sjw clickbait youtube videos but it works for him right and what's so what adds an extra layer of insanity to this is that this is being pushed as some level of success Ben Shapiro changed his Twitter bio to a uh, number one rapper in Amer America or some shit like that. Uh, and it's all because it's number one on iTunes in the rap section. Uh, I don't know if it's number one in all of iTunes, but it's at least number one in the rap section. And what a lot of conservatives don't realize is that this is the year 2024 and nobody has really used iTunes since like, <laughs> since like 2010. Like I can't, I, I can't remember downloading anything or buying anything from I, uh, iTunes in the last 10 years. So it, it's completely irrelevant. You know, it, it's like, it, it's like not something that we're using. So it's just, it's weird. And it's like, look, it's fine. Like if you want to flex about that, but like he's being so insufferable talking about this. And to make matters worse, there's another layer of stupidity. Uh, Nicki Minaj is like low key congratulating him on Twitter. It's like, oh, not bad. It's like, Nicki, you've lost the plot. And that's as she's shitting on uh, Megan the Stallion as well. Uh, we just, you know, we live in such a stupid world. So it shouldn't be that shocking that this happened, but just watching it. And if you haven't seen the music video, don't watch it uh, because it's just, <laughs> it's, it's so cringeworthy. Like this is an actual instance of cringe. We use cringe way too much as a society, but this is like real secondhand embarrassment for Ben Shapiro. I just, I don't know why he chose to do this and why his wife let him do this, his friends let him do this, but he did it. And we now have a Ben Shapiro song. We also have Tim Pool songs. But to be fair to Tim Pool, not as bad as Ben Shapiro. Uh, not good, but not as bad as Ben Shapiro. It's just such a weird world that we're living in.